Hello writers, today we're going to be talking about formatting your paper in Google Docs. So the first thing you want to do when you're formatting your paper is change your line spacing. So to change the line spacing, you're going to go up here to Format. You're going to click on Format, and then you're going to scroll down until you see Line Spacing. And we want our line spacing to be single, so we're going to click on Single. Again, that's Format, Line Spacing, Single. So now we are going to put in our title. So the title needs to be in the center. Your title and your author are going to be the only things that are going to be in the center of your paper. Everything else is going to be left aligned just like how we are right now. So to change it to the center, we're going to go up here to center align and click on that. And see now our cursor has moved to the center. We also want our title to be bigger than the rest of the words in our paper. So we're going to change the font size. We're going to go over here and we're going to make that an 18 font size. Um, and then we're going to put our title in. So our title is going to be Pitbulls Make Perfect Pets. And then I'm going to hit enter one time. Now I need to put my author's name in here which is myself. So I don't want my author name to be as big as my title. So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to make the author name be 14 point font. And then I'm going to type by colon Mrs. McHugh. I'm going to hit enter two times and then I need to make sure that I go back and left align my paper. So the rest of the paper is going to be aligned on the left hand side. I also need to make sure that I change my font size. I want my font size for the rest of my paper to be 12. So I'm going to click on 12. As for the type of font you use, I prefer Arial or Times New Roman. Please just make sure that your font is something that is easy to read. I do not want anything that's all uppercase like this. And you definitely don't want anything that is really hard for us to read like this one. You can't even read what that says. So please make sure that it's easy to read. I'm just going to stick with normal old Arial. Alright, so to begin my paragraph and for the rest of my paragraphs I need to make sure that I indent. So to indent you're going to press the tab key. It's the one that's right next to the Q on your keyboard. So I'll hit the tab key and now I've indented. Now I can start writing. So, I've already typed a, um, a paragraph, so I'm just going to paste that in here. All right, there it is. So, after you type your paragraph, what you need to make sure that you do is go back in and look and see if there are any errors in your spelling. So, if I'm looking in here, I see that spell check has caught some, and they have those squiggly red lines there. So in order to fix those, you want to right click, which on your Chromebooks is going to be the two finger tap, and this will pop up, and then they can give you a suggestion. So did I mean so? Uh, let's see. There are, yes, so many cute dogs to choose from. So yes, I did mean so. So I can fix that there. As you get to the last cage, you see a pit bull dog wagging its tail at you. All right, let's see. Did I mean instantly? Yes. Uh, and then here, I have this. Now, Google wants to change this to pit bulls with no space in between. However, pit bulls does have a space in between. So I'm going to just fix that one myself. So now I've gotten rid of all my red squiggly lines. But I want to make sure that there's nothing that spell check didn't miss. And I can see right here, I've got a capital H next to my T for this and we don't want that so I can fix that too. So you want to make sure that when you're going back to check for your errors that you're not just looking at the spell check that you're also rereading what you have written to see if there are any errors in there as well. Alright so now that I've I'm done my next paragraph um, I'm gonna hit enter two times I'll indent again and I'm going to start writing my next paragraph. 
Now, here I want to talk about how to put quotes into your writing. So let's say for our next paragraph, I'm going to start off. My first reason was that they are good with people. Pit bulls are good with people. So I can say pit bulls are just like any other dog um, when it comes to their love of people. And now I want to put a quote in. So I'm going to start off by introducing the person who wrote it. So, and I want to use a transition word. So I'm going to say according to. According to Pamela Reed, PhD, Vice President of the ASPCA's Animal Behavior Center in New York. She's got a very long title. Then I'm going to put a comma. And I'm going to have this quote where I'm not going to use her entire quote. And I'm going to kind of introduce it using my own words a little bit. And you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to use um, where she says that they are considered the ideal family pet. But she doesn't say pit bulls are. So I want to make sure that we know we're talking about pit bulls. So I'm going to put my own words, pit bulls. And now I can start my quote. Quote, and I'm going to have to put an ellipsis. Remember those? Dot, dot, dot. Were considered the ideal family pet because they were so good with people. I put my period inside my quote and I end it there. Okay, so now I've put my quote in there. I want to go back, reread, make sure I've done everything correctly. Pit bulls are just like any other dog when it comes to their love of people. According to Pamela Reed, PhD, Vice President of the ASPCA's Animal Behavior Center in New York, pit bulls were considered the ideal family pet because they were so good with people. Now, for the rest of my paragraph, I can explain more about how pit bulls are great with people, and I can elaborate more of my own ideas about why they should make a perfect pet for you, just like how in my claim I'm saying people should be allowed to keep pit bulls as pets. Okay, so now every time that you go to a new paragraph, you want to make sure you hit enter two times, and you want to make sure you indent, and you're going to be good to go. As always, ask us if you have any questions, and Enjoy writing your argumentative writing piece.